All right, you guys. So like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He rep that life music. Make sure y'all follow us on social media on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash Ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today now. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. All right, y'all. So again, man, I appreciate everybody, man. That's been showing love, man. Holding it down. Getting up in that comments, man. I appreciate all of you guys, man. Salute to y'all as y'all come on in the building, man. I got some news for y'all. Some rumors that's going on for you guys surrounding the Los Angeles Lakers. Um, word is, is that Darvin Ham is pretty much all but done. And I know a lot of you guys going to like that news. In fact, make sure that you guys subscribe to my podcast show. Link to my podcast show will be pinned at the top of the comments. Uh, but I want to say this, man. I've been, and this is not confirmed that I'm telling you guys. This is what I'm telling you. I've been hearing as of rumors. This is what I heard. And y'all know I know people. And so the word is, is that potentially they could be looking at Mark Jackson or Mike Budenholzer as the next head coach of the Los Angeles Lakers. Now it's funny with Budenholzer because he was the head coach and Darvin Ham was the assistant coach. So you would fire Darvin Ham even though he was up under Budenholzer. And hire Budenholzer? I don't understand that. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. Now, Mark Jackson, Mark Jackson a G. I respect Mark Jackson. You know what I'm saying? His name keep coming up in these circles. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I, I hope he ends up getting a job. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see Darvin Ham lose his job because I feel like Darvin Ham has been set up and he's been set up for failure by a certain guy from Akron, Ohio. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And I'll just leave it at that. But, you know, me personally, man, like I said, I'm, I cheer for a guy like Mark Jackson because he's a G, man. He's a real G. You know what I'm saying? And um, he did a great job. He had no reason to be out of basketball all this long. It's a shame what the NBA has done to the man. It caused the man all of this time out of the game, you know what I'm saying, for being a man and standing on his principles and his morals and what he believe in. And so I just believe that that's sad that they did that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, definitely want to see Mark get his shot back in the game. Now, the thing is, is what's the excuse going to be if Mark Jackson comes back and the Lakers still don't win a chip? You know what I'm saying? If they hire Mark Jackson and the Lakers still don't win a chip, what's the next excuse going to be? You know what I'm saying? They're going to blame it on Mark, say Mark ain't no good coach. This type of foolishness I be trying to tell you all about, man, like, it's a never-ending cycle of destroying coaches. If Bud goes over there and doesn't get it done, they'll just say, oh, well, look, he came up short with Milwaukee. So it's a lose-lose situation because the, the Laker fans will never get the blame to who deserves the blame. All they'll do is is just, you know, talk about something else, point blank, period. They'll, they'll go through something else. But, again, I'm giving you guys the names that's been coming up behind the scenes repeatedly. And Mark Jackson's name continues to come up, and I love that, and I hope that he gets the gig. I hope the Lakers hire this dude like the rumors are saying. They're interested in this guy. You know what I'm saying? Also, Mike Budenholzer, again, he's been out this past year. You know what I'm saying? Chilling in the cut. He's going to be another guy that I think – I think both of these guys probably get interviews with the Lakers. Uh, listen, man, unless the Lakers do something miraculous, go to the NBA Finals or something like that, man. They're going to fire Darvin Ham, man. From what I'm hearing, man, it's too much against them in that locker room, man. And they're leaking out reports. If you guys notice, they're leaking out a lot of reports going at Darvin Ham right now, man. They're going at Darvin Ham hard right now in the media, man. And I, I don't like how they're going at D. Ham, man. I don't like how they're disrespecting the man. But they setting him up for the failure. Once you see all these leaks coming out about how players ain't getting along with him, uh, alleged favoritism towards players he know, uh, players not agreeing with you on schemes, all of this stuff is being leaked out for excuses for when they fire him. You know what I'm saying? Then you see LeBron James hugged up with Jeannie Buss after he walked off the court. You know what I'm saying? With time still left on the clock. It's just the Lakers are in shambles, man. They're a mess, bro. And um, 
you know, they gave the wheel to LeBron Ramon James. Now, his fans will say, hey, man, we got one championship out of it. His fans don't think like Laker fans. And that's why I, I try to tell you guys, like, LeBron James fans aren't real Laker fans. Real Laker fans don't care about no one penny championship, penny any championship. They don't care about that. The Lakers fans care about the hunger for more. They care about the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one. You know what I'm saying? They want multiple rings when you're a superstar. They don't want to just, oh, well, he played at a high level. They said, that's not how it goes. And so LeBron fans don't understand that because they're so used to failure and then succeeding one time. They think that they have, you know, overachieved, which is bull jive. You know what I'm saying? For the level they put that guy on. You know what I mean? Um, I ain't going to say it won't be Mark Jackson, uh, AK-47, because it is a big chance it could be Mark Jackson because um, from what I heard, LeBron and those guys like Mark Jackson, you know? And if LeBron does decide to stay, you know what I'm saying, he could have a heavy influence on the next coach, him and AD. And they both like Mark Jackson. So I don't know where you, where you get your information from. I'm telling you what the real is. So, yes, if they really push for it, I believe they can get it done. But I don't like the fact of, of the Darvin Ham thing. Um, well, that's not true. Uh, it's not that we all know that. I don't believe that. I do believe Mark Jackson will end up getting another job in the league. I do believe that. I don't think negative like you. I do believe Mark Jackson will get another job. Uh, so I totally disagree with you, AK. Totally disagree. Uh, Mark Jackson will end up getting another job. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to speak it, believe it, receive it. And if you don't believe it, then you ain't going to receive it, brother. And so, you know, and the fact that I'm hearing his name still coming up, you know what I'm saying, lets me know. Remember, Mark Jackson was in media. He was doing TV. So he stayed around. You know what I'm saying? He hadn't been disappeared from the game. You didn't see him for years like Mike D'Antoni and stuff like that, who had basically faded away. Hadn't been one of those situations. He stayed around the game, stayed active, stayed relevant. So for me, you know what I'm saying? Only thing I don't want is is for them to try to blame everything on him if LeBron and AD don't do what they're supposed to do. You know what I mean? Which they won't. Which they won't. You're not listening to what I'm saying, AK. I'm saying to you this. Listen to what I'm saying to you, bro. I want you to listen to what I'm saying. I want you to listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying, right? Right? I do believe LeBron James is going to leave when it comes to Bronny. But the thing is, here's the thing. How do LeBron's team set up the whole Bronny situation? That is going to be the big thing I'm watching this summer. LeBron is going to opt out. The question is, is he going to re-sign and get the Lakers to bring Bronny as a free agent? Or... Is Bronny going to get drafted by a different team? See, it all depends on LeBron. LeBron can put out feelers around. He can put out excuse me, messages around the league and say, look, I'm not going there if you draft Bronny. So you can draft Bronny. you wasting your pick. I ain't going. And then that shuts the Bronny thing down. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're the NBA, you're not going to market him. You're not going to put him on a team, play him 30 minutes just because he's Bronny. Shout out to the brother Latez. He says, what up, ticket? Mark Jackson will push AD. They need him. To do that, but Darvin Ham's been pushing AD. That's on AD. That's on AD, bro. Darvin Ham has been pushing AD. That's AD, bro. Bro, these dudes don't want to play, bro. They quit. They quit on the man, bro. They quit on the man, bro. They quit on the man, bro. We ain't bet no thousand dollars, though. What you talking about? He don't go to the next. I, I, we didn't bet that, dog. We bet. Hold on, dog. What you call? Just got fired, Jawan Howard. Man, we ain't bet no thousand dollars. You talking about AK? Don't come in here making up bets. This nigga talking about something. We, we bet a thousand dollars. I ain't bet you no thousand, nigga. <laughs> what are that nigga talking about? Nigga, we did not bet no thousand, nigga. I said, nigga, you want to come up here, nigga? I said, nigga, we can bet ten thousand. He don't go to the Cavs, nigga. That's what I said, nigga. Ain't nobody bet no thousand dollars. Go back and listen to the video, nigga. I said, nigga, we can bet ten thousand. If we if he don't go to the Cavs, because you said, nigga, he going to Cleveland, nigga. That's what the bet was. Nigga, now go back and pull up the video. You're going to hear it. You was in here talking about Cleveland, nigga. He going to Cleveland. I said, bro, that nigga ain't going to no Cleveland. I said, nigga, I bet you 10 racks he ain't going to Cleveland. That is. Okay, hey, hold on. Go back, AK, and listen to Brink. Pull up the video. When you go back in the video, you're going to see what the bet was. We was talking about the Cavs, bro. Go back and pull it up. 
Go back and pull that. Go back and pull that video. I forget which day it was. I remember. I remember what the bet was. Now, you was in here talking. Oh man, he going back to Cleveland. I said, bro, ain't no chance in hell he going back to Cleveland, nigga. Ain't no chance in hell. The hell you talking about? He going back to Cleveland. Ain't no way in the world. That's what the bet was. We bet ten G's. He was a, and I said, nigga, are you sure you want to bet that? Then you ain't say nothing. Now go look it up, nigga. Hey, nigga, talking about. I said, nigga, you sure you want to bet that? Nigga, I did not say that, nigga. Bro, I said he was going to the Knicks. That's what I said. But you said, nah, nigga, he going to Cleveland. I said, nigga, bet 10 racks, nigga, he ain't going to Cleveland. That's exactly what I said, nigga. Now, pull up the video. You going to see what I said. Pull up the video. I, I didn't erase none of your comments. Pull up the video. You was in the comment section like you talking now. Man, he going to Cleveland, man. He going to Cleveland. That's exactly what he said. That's like we said to the brother who said, stop lying, Ham staying. No, he ain't. He out. He out. He out. The only way Ham stays is if he get, they get to the finals to win the chip. He gone. Darvin Ham out of there, bro. Uh, to the brother who said, stop lying, Darvin Ham staying. He gone. I don't heard this already. He all but gone. That's why you hearing all these negative reports out about him. I don't told y'all this. That's why you heard the reports about uh, the situation um, with uh, D'Lo. They talking about they got the reports he beefing with D-Lo and stuff. They got the reports that LeBron James cussing uh cussing them out saying we ain't running the plays. AD go, they got the reports AD going off after the game talking about some, yeah, we need better schemes. D-Lo arguing with him in a film session talking about, yeah, you give me better schemes and we do this. He done, bro. I've been hearing that. Already he done. Already I've been hearing that. Already. I've been hearing that. You did? So don't y'all say that. That's that's already been going. That's why they putting out all these hit pieces on Darvin Ham. Because Darvin Ham is finna get the hell up out of there. They finna get Darvin Ham the hell up out of there, bro. Darvin Ham is gonna be fired after this season, bro. It's it's sad too. It's sad too. And it might be one of them situations where he get fired and LeBron still leaves. It, it's sad, bro. It's sad. And they help you got the whole media going off on Darvin Ham. Fan base going in on Darvin Ham, all because LeBron and AD ain't doing what they're supposed to do. Then when they bring in a new coach, it's going to be the same thing they did to Russell Westbrook. They blame the whole season on Russell Westbrook. And then once Russell Westbrook left, they got the hell beat out of him still. Who they going to blame now? They blame somebody else. Mm-hmm. Now they blame Darvin Ham. Last year it was Westbrook. This year it's Darvin Ham. Mm hmm So that's what y'all King do. That's what LeBron James do. That's what he do. So again, I, I like Mark Jackson, but I don't want him to get no blame if the Lakers don't win the chip. Cause y'all know what they're gonna do. Blame him next. They ain't never gonna blame that player over there. They're going to blame all the coaches. Oh, his coaches, this dude ain't right. His schemes ain't right. This, that, and the third. This is why Golden State won the championships after Mark Jackson left. Blah, 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 blah. They're going to have all these excuses. Mark Jackson, a dang on good coach. Very good coach. Should be in the league, period, hands down. The man is a G. And I got total respect for Mark Jackson. He operate like a boss. You understand what I'm saying? Like a boss. And that shout out to Cam and Mace for putting them on over there. You understand what I'm saying? Letting him have his own show, doing his thing. Man, shout out to Mark Jackson, man. You, you understand? And that's just facts. But again, you go coach that team with the Lakers, anything happen, they're going to blame it on him. That's how the media get down. That's how them players get down. That's how the Laker fan base now gets down. The whole fan base changed. They don't blame the players no more. They don't blame the players. Now they blaming the coach. Mm hmm Now they blaming the coach. See? This is what they do. So, it's a horrible situation. Because for Darvin Ham, you understand what I'm saying? He lose his job like that. And that shit's sad. That shit's sad, man. But for this type of stuff to happen, bro, where Darvin Ham get ran out, man, I don't respect that, man. That hurt my soul, man. 
Show, what up, boy? Shout out to Showtime in the building, man. Salute to that brother, man. What's going on, big dog? He said somebody owns some bread. Who owe you bread, show? So I'm, I'm just telling y'all, Mark Jackson, man, I hope he do get hired, bro. But they ain't going to do nothing but blame him, man. The Lakers don't win. They're going to blame him. Point blank, period. They're going to blame him. That's what they're going to do. They're going to say, Mark Jackson, I'm telling y'all what they're going to say. This is, how, this is how LeBron and AD and them get down. When they don't, when when they win, they're gonna give all the, the credit to LeBron and AD and them. When they lose, the coach gonna get the blame. Oh, AK, Showtime say you owe him 200, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, tell me something. I bet him a thousand. I ain't bet that nigga no thousand. I told that nigga, nigga, let's bet 10 G's that nigga don't go to the to the Cavs. And I told that nigga, pull the video up, nigga. I know what I said, because he was in the comments that you're talking about the Cavs. So, as I was telling y'all, Mike Buttonhoser. And I'm going to say this to y'all about Mike Budenholzer. Mike, Mike Budenholzer, right? This is what Bud did, right? Mike, Mike Budenholzer, if he get hired, this is what they're going to do, right? If he don't win, they're going to say, oh, well, he won that one fluke championship with the Bucks, and that's it. He ain't did nothing else. So they're going to all the coaches. It ain't no win. It ain't no coach that is a win-win situation. Ain't no coach out there. If you get East Bo and, and East, if you was to get East Bo and East Bo don't win, they're gonna blame East Bo. Oh, well, East Bo didn't do nothing when LeBron left. He went to the finals, but he ain't he ain't win. It's always gonna be an excuse, bro. It's always. Any nigga always wanna blame the player, don't never want. I mean, always wanna blame the coach. Don't never wanna blame the player. We used to be in an era where the players didn't get it done. Bro, a coach can tell you what to do. If you don't do it, that's on you. We won't even blame the players no more, bro. I'm just saying, man. Same thing y'all do with Dame Lillard, man. Dame Lillard don't beg to be in a championship situation. You don't put this dude with, with players who want a chip. This dude over here crying, talking about some, man, I'm lonely, man. Man, get the hell out of here, man. Retire, Negro. Just go down, sit down and retire, bro. We don't want to hear that talk no more, man. We tired of that, bro. People won't hear real talk from now on, man. You know what I mean? And I'm just telling y'all what it is. Ham is not horrible, bro. It's the players, man. Yo, yo, Gino. Gino Taylor. Gino Taylor. It's not Darvin Ham, bro. Them same players went to the Western Conference Finals with Darvin Ham, bro. It's the players, man. Don't you see this, bro? It's the players. Was it Darvin Ham fault AD get cooked by Jokic every time? Is it Darvin Ham fault AD get his ass towed to shreds by God on old boy? By what's his name? By, by, by Sabonis. Sabonis annihilate AD. That's Darvin Ham fault? Come on, bro. Come on, man. Y'all gonna stop doing this, man. That's Darvin Ham fault? I'm just saying, bro. No, the, no. The players don't respect him because y'all fans been trolling and have fallen into the trap of LeBron James and the Lakers. Y'all don't fell into that trap. I'm telling y'all this, bro. The coaches can only tell you but so much. The players gotta do their job, bro. If you don't go out there and do your job, it don't matter what no coach tell you. See, this is the one thing y'all got to understand. This, I want y'all to really understand this. There is no coach in the NBA right now, not even Popovich, no coach that can go to the Lakers, the Lakers lose, and the coach not get the blame. Mm -mm. There ain't no coach in the league. All them coaches is gone. Phil Jackson, gone. Uh, Larry Brown, gone. Uh, Pat Riley ain't coaching no more. All them coaches who could, who could, who you definitely, you would never blame the coach. They gone. So th there ain't no more coaches like that. There ain't none. So any coach that you go find and put him with the Lakers, bro, y'all know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen, right? And so, I mean, y'all fall into the trap, man. Y'all can come out here. Popovich, no, they're going to say he's too old and see now. That's what they're going to say. They're going to say, oh, man, Pop old and see now. He ain't the same no more. I'm telling y'all that. Let Pop go to L.A. and was to lose. Oh, he old and see now. He ain't got it no more, man. He washed up. He need to retire. It ain't no coach. You can't name one coach active 
They got Cache that when he come in, if the team lose, they're going to blame the star players. Not one. All them coaches is old. We in a whole new era now where the players want to control everything, and then when shit go wrong, they're going to blame the coach. I seen the Phoenix Suns fan blaming Frank Vogel. How the hell y'all blaming Frank Vogel? And KD and them don't put together a team where they can't even get the right proper pieces together because they got all their money tied up in three players. Period. So you can't get a real point guard. You can't get the real positions they need because y'all want to stack the deck and put Bradley Beal with his contract, Booker and KD on the same team, and then wonder why you're missing all these other pieces. I'm just telling y'all the truth. The Phoenix Suns was a great team before that. The Phoenix Suns, matter of fact, I'm going to tell y'all something. The, if the Phoenix Suns would have stayed how they was and just made a couple tweets, a couple tweets, you understand what I'm saying? Straight up. I'm just letting y'all know what it is. Oh, already. Um, Showtime was good, boy. Yeah. Nigga, how at me, nigga? Scream at me, man. Scream at me, my nigga. <laughs> So, yeah, as I told y'all, right? You guys got to understand that, man. You said what? You said Darvin Ham, no disrespect to Jim, but he didn't come from that real NBA league. Like, man, get out of here, bro. He did. Uh, hit, man. Y'all was way better than what y'all was now, bro. Stop fronting, bro. Talking about some cap, nigga. Anybody in the comment section can tell you. Y'all was way better with that team before KD than y'all is now. Way better. If the Phoenix Suns would have made a couple tweets, what kind of tweets am I talking about? Since Chris Paul was getting older, they would have went and got, no, I didn't say that. Hold on. See, hit man, this is where y'all put words in my mouth, bro. This, 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 see, this is the problem I be having, bro. I never said that, oh, I believe they're going to win a championship. What did I just say, bro? I said the team before what y'all got now was better than the team you got now, hit man. That's what I said. What are you talking about? I'm going to repeat myself again to you. The team that y'all had before KD and them came was better than this team they got right now. There ain't no other way around it. Those are facts. They had way better chemistry. They were a better team. All y'all needed to do was fill in the gaps. Get rid of uh, old ass uh, uh, boy that's playing for the, um, I got Instagram. Uh, hey, Showtime, just get my number for her, nigga. Hey, get my number from Herm, dog. Get my number from Herm. Herm will get it to you. You said what? You said, what's the point of making tweaks? You're not hearing me, Hitman. Hitman, y'all were already in the in the final four picture light. Y'all were already in a championship conversation then. All I'm saying is that you make tweaks. You make tweaks. And what you do is, when you make tweaks, you fill in the parts where you're weaker at. So you got, all right, dog. So you got so you get rid of I got your show. So you what you do is dog, you get rid of one guy to do what? You get rid of uh Crowder, you get rid of Jay Crowder, and then what you do? Once you get rid of Jay Crowder, because he wasn't he's washed up. Look at Jay Crowder right now. You bring in another guy who's younger, who can fill in and do what he was doing. These are the type of little innocent moves you make. Then if you're Phoenix. What do you do? Y'all should have went out there and got a guy like Gafford. That, those are moves that y'all could have made. Went and got Gafford from Washington. Gafford would have helped y'all in Phoenix. He would have helped y'all be better than what Aiden was being. Or, or y'all could have got him as a backup to Aiden. That way, when Aiden was front, you could play Gafford. Then, the point guard situation. Y'all could have got a better point guard, a backup point guard, than, than Cam Tom. I mean, than, um, than, uh, the dude who looked like Martin Payne. I forget. Cam Payne. Y'all could have got a better backup point guard than that. So it's all kind of things that you could do, bro. It is. It is, bro. That, but that team y'all got now, sorry, man. Bro, let me tell y'all something, Hitman. Hitman, I watched the game last night again. Bro, you got you got four, three dudes, four dudes that got 20 points last night and a dude off your bench that got 10 in bowl bowl. And you got a big man got 20 rebounds and y'all still got blown out. You're done. Mm -mm. You ain't made no major improvements. You had all your guys on the court last night, and you got smoked. You had four guys. You had four guys that had 20 or more last night. Then you had another dude that had 20 rebounds. 
Then you had another dude off the bench that had 10 points, and what happened? You still lost. You still lost. You got smoked. You got blown out. You got blown out. And, and you guys had, not Cam Johnson, I mean, uh, campaign. I mean, yeah, campaign. The, the backup point guard is what I'm talking about. Not Cam Johnson. But still, matter of fact, y'all would have been better with keeping um, uh, Mikhail, uh Bridges in them. Y'all would have been better. Man, ain't nobody. Man, ain't no Eric Gordon ain't finna change that game. Oh, uh, hit, man. Hey, man, talking about some Eric Gordon. Come on, bro. Eric Gordon ain't finna change that. He not finna change that game. Eric, y'all got blown out, bro. You was down by 20, man. Cut it out. That is a blowout. This man sitting there talking about they ain't get blown out by the Celtics last night. Man, y'all got blown out, bro. What are you talking about? Y'all already got dub rule. Eric Gordon won't change in that game. Y'all had all y'all three guys on the court and got smoked. This man talking about we ain't have Eric Gordon. No, I meant Miles, um, I mean Mikael Bridges. Mikael Bridges, that's what I'm talking about. Mikael Bridges. Y'all better off keeping him. Y'all better off keeping him and Cam Johnson. You know why? Because you had good role players. You had three and D guys. Mm-hmm. Y'all went and got Bradley Beal. Don't play no defense whatsoever. If he ain't hitting his shot, he done. He out of here. If Bradley Beal not hitting his shot, he done. Then you got who else you got? Then you got um. Then you got uh. Not only do you got Bradley Beal, man. You got um. I didn't say Trey Who for Rush uh hit man. Who you talking about? Who you said? Who you said? I said Trey for Russ. Let me know that. I want you to let me know that. Because I know you capping now. Who, who you said I said, who you said trade for us? I know you capping now. Mm-mm. Hey, nobody, nobody say that, man. Hey, man, you making up stuff, man. Stop lying, bro. <laughs> Stop lying, bro. Y'all had a better team. Yo, Hitman think they got the, the Suns got a better team now than they had before. I got them. They all on the podcast show, Hitman. Yeah, hey, y'all go subscribe to the podcast show. Patreon.com backslash Ticket TV. All the uncut, you know what I'm saying, heated, heated debates are on the podcast show. You know what I mean? It got heated back then, boy. And I'll tell you what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah, he'll tell you I ain't never say nothing like that. I don't know what you talking about with that. But still, you know. Um, yeah, man. So that's just how I feel, bro. You know, the Suns, they was better last year than they was this year. I mean, they was better, excuse me, the year before KD came than they was this, uh, with KD. They was way better with KD in them. I mean, without KD. Way better without KD. Their level came all the way down with KD. The Phoenix Suns sold they sold for KD. And y'all lost, hit man. Y'all lost. Y'all sold, y'all sold for old KD. Bradley Bill don't play no D and always hurt. And then a soft Devin Booker. That's who y'all sold, y'all sold for. Mm hmm. You no. Know? And then Hitman, check it out. Then y'all got a dude getting 20 rebounds, 30 rebounds, and y'all still losing. Look. This this is the thing. This this would destroy Hitman, y'all. This would destroy my boy Hitman right here, right? Hitman X, y'all. My man, I'm gonna say this again to y'all. Hitman X. We talking about now. Listen to what I'm saying to y'all. Man had 30 rebounds one game and they lost. How your big man have 20 rebounds and you lose? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. When the last game y'all known a big man had 30 rebounds and lost? I wait for it. I wait for it. Bro, the man had 30 rebounds, bro. Devin Booker played last night and he had 20. And they got and the and the Phoenix Suns got smoked. CJ, what up, boy? 
Shout out to my boy CJ in there. See, I see you. CJ, where you been creeping at? You been creeping behind LeBron James? You know what your boy up to, CJ? Getting coaches fired and leaving the team like he did in Cleveland with Mike Brown. You know what it is, CJ. That's what your boy do, man. Your boy set the bridge on fire and then he let it burn, CJ. CJ, but you ain't had no internet service over outside overseas. I know you was in um Never Neverland. <laughs> I gotta get CJ on, man. CJ is CJ, man. Why your boy ain't answer the allegations, bro? They everybody accusing the man. He ain't answer no allegations, man. He ain't say I ain't. He said he ain't take. He ain't stand up for himself, bro. No lawsuits, no nothing. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, you say you wasn't checking for basketball? You weren't checking for basketball because y'all got the hell beat out of y'all. <laughs> Your boy been getting the hell beat out of. That's why you ain't been checking for no basketball because of all these allegations. Yeah, if LeBron was winning, you'll be every game, you'll be checking. He know they can't win no more, so he don't care. Who they? That's James. <laughs> hey, James. <laughs> James, look. Is that you, James? Florida boy. They got to be James. <laughs> <laughs> Only one person say role player like that. That's got to be James, man. <laughs> yeah, man. I get <laughs> Yeah, dog. Hey, James, that's what he do, man. That's TJ Boyd, man. I got to get that channel a wrench, Jay. I got to get your channel a wrench. That, hey, that's what he do. That's what he do, man. That's what he do, man. I'm just being real with y'all, bro. That boy CJ crazy as hell. <laughs> that boy mad as on the what, man. Oh, man. Oh, man, bro. Mm-hmm. Man, you ain't doing nothing, boy. That boy was out there chasing goddamn on silverbacks. <laughs> CJ was... Y'all y'all could have caught CJ in one of them goddamn on Discovery movie videos. You know what I mean? Hey, James, why they got mad at me today? When I told Dame Dollar, look, man, if you don't want to play at a high level, man, retire. Everybody got mad at me, James, because I told the truth. Like, bro, don't be wasting these people's time. If you don't want to play, retire, bro. Retire. Retire. Straight up. Retire. <laughs> They ain't mad at me. Oh, man, you hate me. I ain't hating that man the one said he lonely. You a $100 million man talking about you lonely. You At first, you want to win a championship. Then and now it's about location. Now, I got to be here. I got to be right. I got to be in Miami, man. Get the hell out of here, man. You playing with championship-level players, you out here bull jabbing. Hey, James. But that's they error, man. This is they error, bro. They love this era, bro, where these dudes make all these excuses, bro. James, you know how I do, man. Bro, listen, my opinion can change based off what you're doing on the court. If I see the BS, bro, I ain't going to sit up here and keep the guy that going to get capping up for you. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to cook you. Know what I mean? Nah, I ain't saying Jawan Howard. Bro, Jawan Howard just got fired from Michigan. Why in the hell do you think the Lakers are going to bring in Jawan Howard, who just got fired from Michigan, for having one of the worst seasons? You're going to bring in one rookie NBA head coach, take him out for another rookie NBA head coach. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. If Jawan Howard, and listen, 
I like Jawan Howard. If he coached the Lakers, the Lakers ain't making the playoffs next year. <laughs> They're going to be right back in the same situation. They're not making the playoffs next year. They're wasting money. Waste of money. Waste of money. The names I'm hearing, and I told y'all the names I heard, was these two names right here. Mike Budenholzer and Mark Jackson. And I guarantee you the Lakers interview both of them. I guarantee you. Mm-hmm. Guarantee. The Lakers interview both of them. And here's the funny part. LeBron might still leave. <laughs> They may fire the coach. Brown still end up in New York. Mm-hmm. Now, nah, but he gonna be he gonna be uh, button holes are gonna be there for a few jobs. He gonna be at the top of the list. I disagree, man. Somebody gonna hire Mark Jackson, bro. They got to, man. You can't you can't do that to that man like that, bro. They got to, bro. Bro, if Jawan, let me tell you something. And again, I like Jawan Howard. If Jawan Howard gets hired as an NBA coach, at think about this, y'all. After he don't choke the coach or whatever he did to the coach, he hit the what did he do to the coach in college? Didn't he hit the coach or choke the coach or something like that? The other coach? J Jawan Howard be over there going crazy. Bro, ain't no way in the world. You gonna tell me. You can give him a second chance, which he deserves. But Mark Jackson can't get one, man. Get the hell out of here, man. Get out of here, man. Mm-hmm. Bro, all you got to do is watch the situation with Bronny. Situation with Bronny going to tell you everything. I told y'all the Knicks got two first-round picks and a second-round pick that's going to be before the Lakers. So if Bronny comes out and declares, if the Knicks swoop him up, you already know what time it is. You know? It's going to be one of them things, too. Y'all forget, the Lakers not going to be able to stand pat and think LeBron's going to come back just because they got a new coach. Ain't going to happen, bro. The Lakers going to have to do everything LeBron wants them to do. If he don't like Rob Palenka, Palenka got to go. If he wants to trade and get Trey Young or somebody, they got to they gotta do move all those pieces. Bro, it, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. Jawan Howard will be an assistant coach in the NBA next year, probably. You know what I'm saying? At least he'll be an assistant coach in the NBA. I tell you the truth, I don't think he's gonna get another college job right now. Not after what happened to the what he did with the other coaches. Mm -mm. But yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all think. I gotta go take care of some business. I'm gonna holler at y'all. Yo, shout out to the brother who sent the donation. Hey. Don't y'all forget, go subscribe to the podcast show, man. The link is pinned at the top of the comment section, y'all. Bro, we almost 2,000 subs. We creeping right at 2,000, bro. So, y'all, I need all y'all to listen to share the video, but go subscribe to the podcast, man. Show me, Let me know what y'all think. Peace.